Okay guys, so this is what I did today. Now, I woke up, I wasn't gonna gamble. I was just going to go down to the strip to get myself something to eat. <clears throat> so, my usual walk is that I go through the El Cortez and then out the other side and into the Deuce bus. So, I was passing by my usual video poker machine. Guys, it's a nickel machine. I said to myself, you know, last time I gave it a try, I, 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 I you know, I end up chasing. Let me just lose one dollar. Just one dollar. And then I will go to the bus stop. So then I took out my wallet. I put in a dollar. Then I said to myself, I'll put in two dollars. I'll lose two dollars. Put in the two dollars. Not much longer, all right? The two dollars were gone. Playing nickels. You know? And then instead of leaving like I wanted to, I put in a $20 bill. Next thing I know, I was down $5 of that $20 bill. All throughout the playing, I was like, all right, you know what? Let me just, you know, call it a day. But then I just kept playing. Next thing you know, $20 was gone. Upon which I was walking away from the video poker machine. And I was like, I wonder if they have any $10 blackjack. I just got to win two hands. And, and, and then I can go to the bus stop. So, I'm walking around, all they had was 15 minimum blackjack. You know, I haven't played table blackjack for a very long time. For like a month, like a month and a week, I haven't played it. You know, now, if I didn't lose that $22, I wouldn't even play it. But because I lost the $22, I'm like, uh, I, I felt like playing it, right? So I looked in my wallet. I had a hundred and twenty dollars in twenties, then some fives and some singles, right? And then I said, all right, so I took out a hundred of it. And I walked around and I sat down at a uh, double deck blackjack. I have never gotten such crappy hands all in a row. Right? 15 busts, 13 busts. You know, it's like, oh. And then so, I was down about half of my money. Then then I grabbed the chips and I walked away, walked away from the table. This is ridiculous. Should I cash out now? Should I, uh, you know, like like look for somewhere else to play? You know, like... And I was thinking, like, I could have used that money for something else. You know, like, I got money. I got money. Don't worry about it. You know, I, I got money to pay the rent. I got money to pay the bills. I got money to buy things. But, you know, losing money, it's just, you know, it's just a different mind thing. So I went around a circle and I sat down in the same seat again, the exact same seat. It was a new shoe. I said, maybe it'll be better, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down, down. And then I had what? Like, uh, like 50 even, something like that, right? I had like, uh, no, $40 left, right? $40 left, right? And I said, crap, so I took it, 
you know, like after I got like a few hands, it's all like crap, you know, 16, 15. It's like, oh God, no. And then so I was like, all right. I took, I took it and I walked around a circle again. Then a different table opened and sat down on the first base. And then I was looking at it. I got two bets of 15 and then $10 left. So I looked at my wallet. I had one more $20 bill left. So I changed that too. So now I got four bets of $15, right? Say like 60 bucks total. I was like, oh, if, you know, if, if I lose it all, you know, like some quick thoughts were like, if I lose it all, I just won't gamble anymore. I just won't carry cash. You know, the whole shebang, the stuff I've been thinking about for, for a while, you know, like from back then when I lose all my money, I'd be like, fine, I just won't do it anymore and stuff like that, you know. Then I started winning, right? I, I, I got a, something, I hit, and, and I got something good, you know, and then the dealer bust, you know, and I started winning, right? So then I won every hand up until the point I was about $5 short of breaking even, right? So I ended up with, uh, and, and the lady, you know, like sometimes she would like, if like she'll take two of my red chips and give me a green chip or something like that. So then I had like the like two green chips, a bunch of red chips, and something like that. And then I'm looking at it. I said, okay, I am like five dollar or whatever short of breaking even. So then I I looked at it. So I had the one hundred that I took out. I have the 20 that I took out, and then I had like 20 other dollars, no, or 15 other dollars or something around there. And then I said, okay, I'll just bet this, and win or lose, I'm leaving. And that's what I say, right? But had I lost that one, I may, I may have played more. But I won that last one by the skin of my teeth, you know? And then I have, uh, a hundred and fifty dollars in chips, so I colored in, and I went to the cashier cage. So I have um, it was a hundred, a twenty, and then twenty-two. So I think I was up. I don't know. Let, let me do the math here. My heavens! What on earth? One fifty minus one hundred. Minus 20, minus 22. So I was up eight bucks, right? So I walked out of the El Cortez up eight dollars. I was like, hmm. Okay. Now, I, I wanted to just lose one dollar or two dollars and walk, right? I was trying to train myself to lose two dollars and walk, you know? I still believe in the plan, but just that twice now, it ended up, you know, not going the way I want. So, I walked into the Planet Hollywood to get my Starbucks, right? Same day, the same day today. And um, I got my Starbucks, then I walked by my usual nickel machine. I looked at it and then I said, all right, let me lose a dollar here. No, I'll give it a try here. Blah, 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 blah. No, it didn't work, guys. It didn't work, right? I was betting a nickel. And then when I was down to like 16 bucks, I started playing a dollar 25, right? I ended up with uh, $21. Uh, uh, after it went down and up and down and up, and I said, you know what? I'll take my twenty-one dollars. I, I gotta get get going. So I left with my twenty-one dollars. And then so now I'm up nine dollars. Nine dollars, right? Then on the and then I said, okay, I gotta get something to eat. Decided to go eat at the Harris. I went to the Harris. And then I saw a video poker machine. 
I said, all right, fine. I'm going to lose 20 and not chase it. Right? And then I looked at my wallet. And then I put in 20. Then I'm looking and said, oh, you know, the... Uh, the condition of the other twenty dollars is kind of like all raggedy and everything. I said I'll just put it in there, and when I color uh, cash out, hopefully I get a better condition twenty dollar bill. So I put forty dollars in the machine, and straight away I played dollar twenty five. I played a little bit, it went up to twenty five, and then I said like I could just take the five dollars and go. But then I didn't. I pressed the button again. It went down and up and down and up. It was floating around. And then it dipped below $20 and it went back up again. And then somehow by miracle, I ended up with like a full house or something. And it hit $30. Uh, it hit $50 even, right? I put in $40. It hit $50. I'm looking at it. I said, I'm just going to take the 10 bucks. So I took the $10. And then on the way back home, I saw the, uh, uh, I, I'm back at the El Cortez, right? There's a two cent Ultimate X video poker. Two cent, guys. So max bet is 60 cents. I started off playing like, I don't know, 10 cents a hand or something. That's two times five. Played that for a while. It went kind of up and down, up and down a little bit. Then I started playing max bet. And uh, it went as low as like $11. And I was feeling like, you know, that feeling like oh, I'm losing money. Got to try to win it back. I'm like really, really hoping that it'll get back up to 20 so I can leave. Right. It went. Um, what did it go? It went. It did go past 20. And then I lowered the bet down to like the minimum. I played it until it was an even $20 bill, and then I cashed that out. And then I walked around, ate an ice cream cone, I mean the ice cream bar, and then uh, drank the beer, which is the Heineken Zero, and I left and I came back, just right now. So, today's lesson I learned. I left to my own devices, cannot be trusted not to gamble more once I lose a dollar or two. So, now I still believe that repetition builds habit, right? I still believe in that because I've done it with other aspects of my life before, like, like uh, eating crawfish or whatever the heck, you know, because uh, I used to like think crawfish are disgustingly like nasty and because it's like a little dead thing and then you're holding it in your hand it's like a dead thing you know and then but then I forced myself to eat it even though I was shaking and shaking and everything and now now I love crawfish it's delicious you know so I I think what I my plan of like uh, losing a dollar and walking is still good I just need to, now like, I went into like the last video and today's video, I went into it haphazardly. I didn't psych myself up, I didn't like uh, do like mentally focus, you know, so uh, I'm going to give it another try in a day or so. I'm going to calm down for a day or so, then I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to put just one dollar in the machine lose it and then walk right and before i do that i'll be outside the casino i think i will record myself doing it i will say it over and over again out loud and everything people's gonna think i'm retarded i mean like, well, who's that why, why is he talking to himself well, something about one dollar was going on you know i don't care what i look like maybe i'll do it in the parking lot with no one can see you know? but i'm gonna psych myself up to walk walk guys and then that would be step one all right so now there's been some comments below you know um uh, that still insist that free play is gambling no it is not guys free play 
does not meet the legal definition of gambling, in my point of view. Alright, thank you very much. See you guys on the next one.